Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to make a reaction video because I was watching a video last night and um, I thought it was pretty like horrifying, the one that's right there on the TV. And I have my computer right here, so I'm going to rea be reacting, looking at the video while hearing the audio from the TV. So you guys can, you know, interact with me, like what's going on. But the thing that he said is that he found another video that he was going to post on his YouTube, but he ended up not doing so because... It was truly too hard to watch, so I decided to save it for today to watch this video. So this is the part that I'm talking about. Send it on a decent note. Thank God that was the last one. Yeah. That was awful. It was really hard to get through. Oh no! That uh, one time I saw a video called "Top Five Creepiest 911 Phone oh, Calls." Oh my God! I've heard about that one. Yeah. Yeah, I did not post it. I did not really? post because they were like so real today, phone calls. This I don't know. I guess I'm. I'm going to be doing that. And let's see how creepy this is, because I'm into creepy shit, but I don't know how creepy this might be. Um, but I will be posting it on YouTube, that's for sure. Uh, Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so here it is. Um, I'm going to try to sync both of them at the same time. Hopefully that's possible. Uh, so without further ado, guys, once I get it in sync, I'm going to put my laptop video down, so then, you know. Anyways, get ready for this shit, guys. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Okay, so I got them to sink in. Number so one, put the where is your down. emergency? In this call, an old woman living on her own named Ruth dials 911 to report a suspicious man standing outside her door. Well, he went in the back. I live in an apartment in the back, and he's saying he's looking for a guy. And he comes to my door, and he's uh, looking for an She's apartment. She's pausing a lot. That's not good. So I'm a, I live alone, and I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. Where is he now, ma'am? I don't have no idea. Where is he now? In this call, Sounded like a she woman for screaming help. in terror calls 911, closely reporting the details of her chimpanzee's crazed attack on one of her friends, which is happening right next to her. Throughout the duration of the clip, you can hear muffled screams of both the chimp and the victim in their devastating struggle. Time for 911, where's your emergency? Oh, I might need to put the audio a bit up. What's the problem there? The, the, the chip killed my, my friend! What's the problem with your friend? Oh, please! What's the problem with your friend? I need to know. With a gun! With a gun! Who wants a gun? Please, hurry up! Why isn't he just doing what he's supposed to do? What is the problem? He's killing my friend! Who's killing your friend? Get my chip handy! Oh, your chip must be is killing your friend. Yes. Yes, do what she says. Jeez. Oh, now he does it. Yeah, after like two minutes of shit going down. I hate operators like that. They're just, they're just so calm when they don't know that crazy stuff is happening on the other line. No, I can't. She's dead. She's dead. Why are you saying that she's dead? She's dead. He ripped her apart. He ripped what apart? Her face? Everything. He ripped her apart? I think I'm gonna sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep. No, 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 just breathe, okay? I'm gonna stay with the other phone until they get there. Please, 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 please. Wow. Oh my god. That must be devastating. <laughs> just having your best friend Shoot him. Shoot him. torn apart. Sandra, stay in your car. Shoot him. Sandra, I need you to stay in your car. Shoot him, please. I tried stabbing him. <laughs> And he's hurt now too. So, so he's gonna attack anybody. I can't get out of this car. 
She's pretty brave for stabbing In this call, Kevin Cosgrove, a business executive in the insurance industry, calls 911 from the 105th floor in the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. Minutes oh, wow. before the first tower collapses, the urgency, combined with the heart-wrenching reality of him having to leave behind his beloved children, leave this to be one of the most shocking and heartbreaking calls in history. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. I don't, I don't think they can do anything about it. I think they know. I a man attempting to break down her door. Sadly, before police could arrive, the intruder relentlessly raped the woman. She has a baby with her, guys. This call, serial killer Paul Michael Stefani, also known as the Weepy Voiced Killer, calls 911 following two of his victims' murders. The presence of regret in the man's voice, combined with the fact that he reports the exact execution of his killings, make these calls outright horrifying. Oh, my God. 
I say, you know, with the weepy killer, I think he, he honestly, what he should have done is stabbed his hand. I mean, if you can't, you know, stab in your hand, you'll injure yourself, you'll probably snap out of it. He probably couldn't snap out of it, but he probably did regret it. I'm not sure. But, man, these are crazy. I don't, I don't even know what to think of them. Like, the 9-11 one was pretty, pretty brutal, and the video went right with the way it collapsed like <sighs> that was heavy and what else was heavy um i don't know just people coming in and breaking into people's houses like this is why every american should own a gun um at least to defend themselves i mean if you're up against someone that's a serious m serial killer that is probably twice the size of you the best thing to do is to have a gun any kind of gun and you know to every every american should have the right to learn how to shoot a gun but that's just my personal opinion i don't know what you guys think you guys can comment in the comment section below but everyone should at least learn how to defend themselves i myself know how to fight i know how to throw knives so I'm good. If anything like this happens at, with my family, I'll just uh, I'll just get a knife in the kitchen. And since I'm not good with close range, I can just throw a knife. I know he can just take it out of himself and try to hurt me with it. But trust me, I'm going to throw at least five knives at you before you even attempt anything else. But I don't know. I think that's just very, 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 very crucial. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, if I see any more videos like this that are really impactful, I'll probably upload it. Um, sorry I haven't been posting a lot lately. Uh, I'm feeling better. Um, my pain is from my stomach is starting to go away. I've been eating more healthy and stuff. Been able to eat more, so. But thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end it right here. Peace, like, and don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. I'll be posting more videos like this. Thank you.